So just speaking of improvements at the Sutro Tunnel this past spring, um, there was a dock here that was dysfunctional. Uh, we came up with a new design, got approval from the Comstock Historic District. Um, we're able to some, procure some used vertical grain timber from a bridge and uh, created a new dock um, that looks a little bit on the uh, age side. So kind of a fun little project made uh, the uh, use of the pond much, much more functional. When you go to the bar Another improvement that we made here at the Sutro Tunnel this last spring was to create a water feature that also oxygenates the water as it flows over the rocks. So part of keeping the health of the ponds in check um, and the fish health, of uh, they need oxygen. So this has worked out extremely well for the few months that uh, we've had it on. We've also, we valved the piping so we can change direction of the water and manage the water and the heights of the pond. To the bar room, you always come home glowing. So, another improvement that we made this spring, although we've got a few more weeds and a little bit more growth, was the walkability around the pond. This pond's a little bit over an acre and we created a, a very generous walking path that it, we, again, we need to get out here and clean up a few woods, weeds and, and growth here. The other thing we did uh, was create a few respite areas where people can pause and if it wasn't such a windy day, you can uh, see a lot of fish in this water. This water has got a lot of large mouth bass in addition to the koi that I'm sure you're gonna see on these videos. Uh, we've also got quite a few bluegill in this water. So it's um, kind of good to see the aquaculture and the, and the balance of uh, fish and nature here. When you go to the bar room, you always come home glowing. You leave the bartender a $20 tip. My bank account is gone and now you're going. Yeah, you piping woman.